Today we're going to be looking at how to manipulate linear equations uh, that start in standard form. So this right here, we get 4x plus 3y equals 12. I want to know what that graph looks like, and I want to know what the slope of the graph is going to be. I want to know what my y and x intercepts are going to be. So I want to start out with, since we're not the strongest at algebra, what I want to do is guess and check a couple points. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to plug in some real easy numbers into this equation to give me a set of coordinates. So I'm thinking my two easiest ones are if I put in a 0 for x and then a 0 for y. So first I'm going to start with a 0 for x. So if I put in a 0 for x, I'm going to end up with 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. That's going to turn into 3y equals 12 divide both sides by 3, and I end up with y equals 4. Right, so my first, my first coordinate is going to be 0, 4. Right, I'm going to put it right, let's see, 0, 4. So I'm going to put it right there. Right, next, and I want you to pause it, see if you can come up with your own point that you want to test out. Go. This is Jack, you want to climb dike bar? All right, and I'm back. Let's see, so next, I want to try out another one. So now that I get this 0, 4. So now that I have this point 0, 4, I'm going to test out another one. This one I'm thinking, let's try putting in a 0 for y. So if I put in a 0, I'm now going to solve for x. So that's going to turn to a 0. I end up with 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 3. Now, x equals 3 when y equals 0. So that's our next coordinate. So now I want to put that on my graph. 3, 0. Now, what we, how, the question is how many points do we need to create any line? Answer is 2. We have two points right here, 3, 0, and 0, 4. Now I'm going to connect my points. So I know it's not a perfect line, but that should be our line. From here, now we can try to figure out what its slope-intercept form is. So for people that are not so good at manipulating uh, equations algebraically, this is a great way to step into how to create a graph of something um, and to create the slope intercept form before understanding how to just turn it from standard form into that form. So from here, I want to take a look. Question is, is, is this positive or negative? One thing I have my students do is we draw this diagram. It's an arrow sort of pointed up. Right positive there. negative there, zero here, and undefined. All right, so this gives them an idea. So the question is, does this line look like positive? No. Does this line look like negative? Yes. So we have a negative slope for sure. Next, I wanna look at my rise over run. So if I look at the difference between these two points, I can notice it's negative, so I'm going to go down 4 and to the right 3. The question is, why am I going to the right? Well, one thing I say to my students to try to get rid of some confusion is the, asking the question, which way do we read? We read uh, English left to right, so I want you to read graphs left to right. So if I go from here to here, it's going negative slope, so we go down first, rise, then run. So we went down four units and three units. So my slope is going to be four over three. And my y-intercept is at four. So my equation, if I put it into slope-intercept form with y equals mx plus b, should be y equals, whoops, y equals four-thirds x plus four. So 
The last thing we want to check is, can I actually convert that into that somehow algebraically? So the question again that we're asking is, can we turn this equation here into this equation, just manipulating some things with algebra? So first up, we want to notice we want to get y on its own, in this case on the left side. So the things kind of crowd y's space is the 3 and the 4x. So the first thing we can see is this is being added, so I can subtract the 4x from both sides, not just one side, but both sides. If I do that, these two are still equal, right? So I can do it. These are going to cancel out. I'm going to left, be left with 3y equals 12 minus, 12 minus 4x. All right, from there, again, the only thing crowding y space is that 3. All right, and based on the fact that this is being subtracted, I can switch these so that it's y equals negative 4 over 3 plus plus fourths, which is exactly that. So, uh, leave in the comments any questions you might have. I know there's a million videos out there uh, giving examples just like this. I know I'm not that much special besides I'm hoping some of my students trust me and maybe they like my voice or they're probably really sick of it given that they hear uh, a lot of it. I'm still not that great of a teacher. I definitely still lecture way too much. Uh, add any questions in the comments. I should be able to answer them. Um, yeah, so that's it. Watson out. Stay weird.